In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make Claude code as easy to use as Lovable or Bolt in just five simple steps. And this is the exact coding workflow that I've been using over the last two months. And if you're looking to get started with Claude code, but you haven't tried it yet, then this is one of the easiest ways to get started, especially if you're coming from existing Vibe coding tools like Lovable, Replit, or Bolt. If you don't know me, my name is Chris, and I've been designing apps and advising startups for the last 15 years. And if you wanna see more stuff like this, then just like and subscribe down below before we get started. And with that said, let's help get you started with Claude Code. Build great products. Build great products. So these are the five steps that you're going to want to go through to get cursor and Claude code working as easy as lovable. And first I want to show you what lovable looks like, because effectively this is something you already know, I'm sure, but this is what we're going to be recreating in cursor. So cursor has quite a flexible user interface where you can kind of change what panels are showing where and kind of choose what layout you want in cursor. But what you might already be familiar with is this kind of layout here where you have your chat on the left hand side and you have your app preview on the right hand side in the middle here. Now this is a pretty terrible looking app just as a little project that I created as a demo for something before I can get a nicer looking one up here if you want but basically you have your preview on the right hand side you have your chat on the left and then you have a bunch of other controls sort of around you can change things in the chat panel down here we're going to recreate this user interface layout in cursor using Claude code in a UI that feels familiar and friendly and easy to use with a few extra little bells and whistles on to make getting started with cursor and Claude code as easy for you as possible because I appreciate these are more complex developer tools they can seem a bit intimidating but now more than ever they are super super easy to get up and running with and to get set up if you just set them up in the right way and in a way that's really familiar to you and this is exactly how i use cursor and claude code myself because i find it super easy to use this same pattern that we have here of the preview on the right and the chat on the left so step number one out of five that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to install claude code on your machine if you haven't done this already there's a million tutorials this has been in a million videos before just go to claude.com forward slash product forward slash claude dash code you can google claude code it will take you to this page there is a command here that you basically have to copy it looks pretty intense if you don't know what this is and you haven't seen this sort of stuff before you might think okay why isn't there just a download and install button that's because all you do here claude code is an agent that runs in your terminal. I'm going to stop there because that already sounds complicated. We're not going to do anything else here. We're just going to go to the website, copy that to your clipboard. That's all you need to do for now. Step two that we're going to do is you're going to go to cursor.com and download cursor and install cursor so that you have cursor on your computer. Again, ignore the complicated looking graphic. It may look a little bit too complicated. Don't worry too much about that. If that's putting you off, that's okay. Download it, install it on your computer, and then let's get it up and running. Step three, it's going to be opening cursor and getting it up and running and kind of taking you through a little bit of the interface and how cursor works so when you first open cursor this is what you're going to see you won't have any recent projects here you're going to see the buttons to open a project clone a repo or connect via ssh again seems super technical all we're going to do is click open project here and this is just going to allow us to create a folder for our project and effectively a project or an application that we're going to be building is just a folder with a bunch of code files in that's all it is and so we need to create that folder to create our project. So I'm just going to create a project here and call it cursor-setup. I would recommend using just lowercase just to avoid any issues when you're actually building your app. It doesn't usually affect it, but it can make a, it can affect things if you're building with certain with certain tools. So just do it lowercase just to make sure that that's going to work. Then what you're going to see here is you're going to see a bunch of kind of empty windows in cursor, which looks a little bit intimidating. You might think, well, okay, do I just I just prompt in this chat box here on the right? do I? But what I'm going to show you how to do is how to get this set up because it's not immediately apparent what you can do here in cursor. I want to show you how you can get it set up to look and work like lovable. So what we're going to do is I'm going to close this. There's some tools at the top here for like toggling the sidebars on and off. You can toggle the primary side panel, which has your project. And you can also toggle a bottom panel as well, which has the terminal. And you can also switch the orientation of these panels here as well. Because we're gonna get this up and running with Claude code, what I'm gonna do here is I'm just going to close 
this agent chat here. So we just go to this dotted menu and just click close chat. And we're actually going to toggle the sidebar off as well. Let's close this chat. And then we just have a blank window here. And what we're going to do is we're going to open this left hand side, the primary sidebar, which will appear on the left. And this has nothing in at the moment, but this is where we're going to have all of our files for our projects. And you can see buttons here for like add a new file, add a new folder basically to this project. So what we're going to do first is we're going to click on this little browser tab icon here. So it's this little globe icon in the cursor chat and you just click browser tab and that is going to open up a browser tab on the left hand side here. Now this browser tab is important because this browser tab is going to be where we're going to be looking at the preview of our app that we're building in cursor with Claude code. And so this is effectively our preview. Now this is the wrong way around based on what we're used to in Lovable with having the chat on the left and the preview on the right. So if you do want to, you can just switch this around using that control in the top right, the two arrows there. So now you can build your app in cursor if you want to use cursor just like this, just by typing in this chat box on the left hand side, changing your model. If you're paying for cursor, you can then choose what models you want to use here. So let's just go for Opus 4.5 and then you can start building your app here basically. Now, if you want to toggle on the side panel here to view your files, you can do it in this view and just have those files on in your project on the right hand side. And if you want to toggle the terminal to run any commands that you need, which you're going to need to at some point, you can toggle that with this toggle panel in the top right hand side to toggle that bottom panel with the terminal in as well and then you basically have a very familiar looking setup to lovable where you've got your agents and your chat on the left hand side and you can create multiple agents in cursor here and you'll be able to see all the changes that they're making on the left you have your browser in the middle here which will be your preview for your app so you'll type in a url that will be given to you basically when cursor is set up your app then on the right hand side you have all of the files and folders in your project and if you want to set this up with claude code which is what we're going to do now you have to go through a couple more steps here so what we're going to do is we're going to switch this interface back around. I'm going to keep the browser open here and I'm going to keep my files on the left hand panel here with the terminal open at the bottom because we're going to still need the terminal to be able to do some stuff here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to close this agent panel here. So we're just going to toggle the agent panel off in cursor and I'm going to click close chat here as well. And so now we're going to go on to step four to set up Claude code on our computer and inside of Cursor so that we can start working with it to build our app. First, what we're going to do is we are going to install Claude code. So now you have this terminal open up at the bottom here. What I want you to do is to paste that command that you copied from the Claude code website into your terminal and then press enter. And that is going to set up Claude code for you. Once you've done that, we're going to go to this little icon here in the top left, which looks like a little kind of jigsaw puzzle. This is extensions in Cursor. And extensions basically are a bunch of different tools that you can install in Cursor that will help you do a bunch of different stuff depending on what you're building. Now you don't need to know any of this stuff. This is just a bunch of extensions that I have kind of running on my version of Cursor. The only thing you need to do is search Claude Code in the extension menu at the top. That's going to show you the Claude Code for VS Code extension. That is the one we want to install. Don't worry about VS Code. Cursor is basically built on VS Code. So that's why that is called for VS Code. We are then going to do, basically you click here to install the Claude Code for VS Code extension and then go to this dotted menu in the top right and click Claude Code open. That is going to open the Claude Code extension here in Cursor. And now you just have your chat box like you would. This is your Claude Code agent on the right hand side. I'm going to close this extension menu here. Let's go back to our files here on the left as well. And I'm actually just going to swap these around. So we're going to we're going to do that. We're going to split the editor here and we're going to have our browser over here and we're going to get rid of this one. And then I'm just going to shrink Claude Code a little bit here. And so what we have now this setup is going to be as easy to use as lovable. We have our files on the left hand side. We have Claude code here, which we can start working with. So build an app that does whatever you want to kind of build here. That's going to take you through it. You've got your browser on the right hand side, which is where your preview of your app is going to open. And you've got your terminal at the bottom here, which you're going to use to run any commands that you need to run to get your app up and running and start working on it. And that is how to set up cursor and Claude code in a way that is as easy as lovable to use. 
And if you're just getting started, then this is the perfect way to get into Cursor and Claude Code. And to show you what this looks like with the project up and running here in Cursor, so I've got this app project that I've been working on. You can see the files in my project on the left-hand side. You can see Claude Code on the left-hand side here. My terminal down the bottom, which is running Convex and also running the front end of my app. Now Claude Code or Cursor will guide you through setting all that stuff up as you build your application, so you don't have to worry about that. And in the middle here, in the main window, on this sort of canvas view this is the app that i'm building at the moment we've got our preview for our app and the last thing that is interesting here in cursor now that we've got this up and running and we can work on our app like this is you have a bunch of other tools in the cursor browser here as well like you have the developer tools panel on the right hand side here as well where you can see the console logs for the app that you're building you've also got the inspect mode here where you can inspect any element here and actually start to edit that using cursor if you do want to use the cursor agent here as well i'm going to close that and you also have the design panel in cursor on the right hand side here where you can edit the design of your app whilst you're building it and go between Claude code and cursor and this is just a really really useful way it's a really really intuitive way that I like to work that is super familiar to anyone who's used any vibe coding tool and if you're coming from a platform like lovable bolt or replit and now that you've got this set up running in cursor with Claude code here all you have to do for step five is just go forward slash login and in Claude code to log in to your Claude account and then you'll be able to use Claude code directly inside Cursor. So hopefully you can see how easy it is to get Cursor and Claude code set up in a way which it feels really, really familiar to existing Vibe coding tools like Lovable or Bolt or Replit where you have that chat on the left hand side and you have your preview of your app on the right hand side in the Cursor browser. And I think using Cursor in this way with the Claude code extension is one of my favorite AI coding workflows just because it's so simple and it feels so familiar to these tools that you might have already been using for the last year. What's great about this as well is it also gives you a really good starting point to understanding a bit more technical depth about how applications are built and letting you explore the more technical aspects of your code base using these tools in a setup that you're already familiar with. And if you are building apps with AI and you want to learn more about how to turn that app into an actual business, I've got a school community helping people do just that over at school.com forward slash AI apps, where you'll learn all about how to find the right idea, how to build distribution, how to build a business around an AI application, how to design it the right way, create a brand identity, design system, and a whole load more as well as joining over 200 people building apps with AI. So head over there if you want to find out more. Otherwise, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Build great products. Build great products.